flag and yet another race. That means he's just one race away from being crowned world number one. Oh, hello. How'd you do? Basil, fantastic racing there. But just before you started, you were seen talking to your arch rival, Sebastian Crouton. What happened? I shoved the broom handle up his trousers. And what did you say then? How's that for pole position? <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Basil, it's fair to say that it took you quite some time to become one of the best drivers around. What do you put that down to? Well, I don't think I had the right car. After all, my first car was sponsored by Orange. What was wrong with that? He kept running out of juice. My next one was sponsored by Baked Beans. And the problem was? Too much gas. Then I had a wooden car with a wooden engine. What's wrong with that? It wouldn't go. <laughs> boom, boom. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a race to do. <laughs> Just before you go, I wondered how much of your success do you put down to your team? Oh, I owe everything to my team. They're a very brave team. After all, they have to handle the car snakes. There are snakes in your car? Yes, they're called windscreen vipers. <laughs> Listen. Do excuse me, I've got to go. Because uh, even if I come last in the next race, I'm world number one, don't you know? <laughs> one more question before you go. <laughs> you are known as the king of speed. What's it like driving on the ordinary roads? Well, once I was almost arrested for knitting whilst driving. Knitting while driving? The policeman said, pull over. And I said, no, it's a scarf. <laughs> now listen, I have to go. I have a race, you know. <laughs> Well, there you have it. What a gentleman. And for those of you who are just joining us, all Basil has to do is come last to be crowned world number one. Oh, look, he's back already. Basil, that's record timing. How does it feel to be world number one? I didn't do quite as well as I expected. Did you come second? No. Third? No. Fourth? No. Well. Even if you came last, you're still going to be crowned world number one. I didn't come last. I didn't even turn up for the race. So I was disqualified. Why didn't you turn up for the race? Because I was too busy talking to you, you streaming great nitwit. Oh, well, there we have it. Huge disappointment for a potential world number one. Join us again next week on Galaxy of Sport when we talk to... I could have been world number one if it wasn't for you! So it's goodbye from him and... Oh! Oh!